I finally get to camp again. I am so happy. It's only a 24 hour camping trip, but um, finally the weather is clear. So I packed up my dog and just a few things and my pop-up trailer. So this is almost like um, tent camping, a little bit upgraded, but um, about the same amount of work involved, but also it's much easier that way. I haven't been able to go anywhere for the past month. It's been raining non-stop and I had three weeks off from work because I'm a teacher, so I had winter break and I was stuck at home. I mean, literally it rained non-stop every day and I live in the mountains, so there were mudslides and rock slides and, and if you went to higher elevation, then it was so much snow you couldn't get anywhere. So winter often for me is a sad season because although I love snow camping, it can be very tricky because you need to be able to get there. And often if you're trying to find snow, you can't even get there. The roads are just, you know, you can't drive on them. It's a mess. So finally it stopped raining and I figured I would go down to Kings River. I had been camping here for about seven years and winter, is one of the best times to camp here because everywhere else is cold and here the weather is just a little bit milder. I mean, it's still cold. It's not gonna be warm in January, but I remember I camped here a long time ago just with my tent, um, no heater or anything, and it was still good. This is the best time to come and there are lots of places to camp. The roads are fine. They're actually paved all the way until you get to the river, so it's really not a problem. And then. Once you're at the river, then it's going to be lots of dirt roads and everything, obviously, but you can still find a place to, to camp. Um, we're gonna do some hikes. Uh, there are so many places to go here and it's beautiful, everything is green. And we are going to fish. We're going to try to catch a fish. So now I am going to have a quick lunch and then we're just going to walk around here. The sun is about to go down in a couple of hours, so we're gonna fish right before that and then I'm going to make a great big campfire and have dinner and have a couple of drinks finally <laughs> next to the campfire and just relax and go to sleep. So here's all my fishing gear. It's not really a lot, but I think it's a lot for someone like me, who's a very much a beginner at fishing. Um, but basically I have different sizes, weights, and different lures, and some cast masters, and some spinners. Um, I don't know what the difference is between spoons and spinners, honestly. So please do me a favor and leave me a comment and explain that to me. I would really appreciate that. And besides these things, I also have these colorful uh, things 
that I just picked up at the store a while ago. Um, so as far as fishing goes, I do understand that you need different bait and different things to catch different species of fish. Um, and of course, it's a lot more complicated than that because it will depend, what you use will depend on um, the time of the day, maybe the season, um, the weather conditions, is it sunny, is it cloudy? So all that makes a difference and even then you have to find the place where the fish are. So I do understand all that. So to me, fishing is actually very fascinating and I do wanna learn more. Uh, so far, I have been successful catching trout in lakes and I caught some carp, some catfish, uh, some bluegill. I mean, we're talking about a couple of fish here and there, but, you know, it felt good that I was able to do that. And um, I caught a bass once. It was kind of small, but it was legal. So that was great. River fishing is very hard for me. Any kind of uh, moving water is is not just hard. I just can't do it. It's very frustrating as well. Um, but I will tell you a little bit about that a little bit later. What I'm trying to do right now is make a hook barbless because this part of the river, um, you have to use barbless hooks. And here you can actually catch two trout a day. That's your limit. If you go further up, you actually have to do catch and release. So river fishing is not only hard for me, it's kind of impossible and it's super frustrating. And I have tried it many, many times and I still want to learn. But my problem is basically is that if I use bait that has weight on it, um, the hook or the weight or both gets stuck on the bottom in the rocks because the water is moving. So eventually, pretty quickly, it actually gets stuck and I either have to yank it up or I actually lose the hook. So that is very frustrating. Um, the other way to do it is when you use like these spinners that don't have much weight on them. They don't have any weight, right? They're super lightweight. So you're supposed to cast it out there pretty far and I can't do it. I mean, we're talking, it flies out for like five feet, seven, eight feet. That's not far because it has no weight and maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I don't know, but I have tried it again and again. Um, it doesn't go very far. The river is pretty shallow, so you don't really get anything. And it's pretty windy. I even tried to use the wind, but it just did not work. Where's your stick? Where's your stick, doggy? I think she has gone mad. <laughs> you lost your stick, dog. There you go. Remember, if you're in California, you need to have a campfire permit. So this is a new year, so make sure you go on their website. You can just Google um, getting a campfire permit and then that website will show up. You just uh, watch a video, it's, I think it's like, I don't know, five, six minutes. And then you answer some questions, they're super easy. And then you get your permit and you could just take a screenshot with your phone or you could print it or whatever. But I do it with my phone and that way it's always with me. And it's good for the whole year. But like I said, don't forget, I almost forgot. I did it this morning while I was getting ready. Because if you do have a fire and they catch you without a permit, that's an automatic, I don't know, two, three hundred dollars. Um, and it just goes up from there.
So I'm not really sure what they're doing. I don't know if they are struggling or this is just how it is and they're in perfect control of the situation. But this is scary to me. I have gone whitewater rafting a couple of years ago at the same river and I think one time was enough for me. I actually went on two two floats or rides or whatever you want to call it and it's very very scary so I am never doing that again. <laughs> um, after that I found an area where the water was deeper a little bit but I just had no luck. It was more frustrating than anything so I'm going to have to try this again hopefully with someone that truly knows what they're doing and they can teach me. So this was my winter camping trip for January. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon.